Sangam period Tamil, Kankakalam Sangakalam, is the period of history of ancient Tamil Nadu and Kerala known as Tamilakam spanning from c. 5th century BCE to c. 3rd century CE. It is named after the famous Sangam academies of poets and scholars centered in the city of Madurai. In Old Tamil language, the term Tamilakam Tamilakam Tamilakam, Purananaru 168. 18 referred to the whole of the ancient Tamil speaking area, corresponding roughly to the area known as southern India today, consisting of the territories of the present day Indian states of Tamil Nadu, Kerala, parts of Andhra Pradesh, parts of Karnataka, and northern Sri Lanka, also known as Elam. History According to Tamil legends, there were three Sangam periods, namely Head Sangam, Middle Sangam and Last Sangam period. Historians use the term Sangam period to refer the last of these, with the first two being legendary. So it is also called Last Sangam period Tamil, Katekanka Paruvam Katazanka Paruvam, or Third Sangam period Tamil, Manram Kanka Paruvam Manram Sangka Paruvam? The Sangam literature is thought to have been produced in three Sangam academies of each period. The evidence on the early history of the Tamil kingdoms consists of the epigraphs of the region, the Sangam literature, and archaeological data. The period between 600 BCE to 300 CE, Tamilakam was ruled by the three Tamil dynasties of Pandya, Chola and Shara, and a few independent chieftains, the Valir. Literary sources There is a wealth of sources detailing the history, socio-political environment and cultural practices of ancient Tamilakam, including volumes of literature and epigraphy. Tamilakam's history is split into three periods: prehistoric, classical, see Sangam period, and medieval. A vast array of literary, epigraphical and inscribed sources from around the world provide insight into the socio-political and cultural occurrences in the Tamil region. The ancient Tamil literature consists of the grammatical work Tolkapiyam, the anthology of ten mid-length books collection Pathapatu, the eight anthologies of poetic work Etuthagai, the eighteen minor works Patanenkilkanaku, and there are the five great epics of Tamil literature composed in classical Tamil language Manamagalai, Savaka Sintamani, Salapadikaram, Valayapati and Kandalakeshi as well as five lesser Tamil epics, Ancharukapiangal, which are Nilakeshi, Naga Kumara Kavyam, Yudhiana Kumara Kavyam, Yasodhara Kavyam and Sulamani. Culture Religion The religion of the ancient Tamils closely follow roots of nature worship and some elements of it can also be found in Tamil Shaiva Siddhanta traditions. In the ancient Sangam literature, Sivan was the supreme god, and Murugan was the one celebrated by the masses, both of them were sung as deified Tamil poets ascending the Kudal Academy. The Tamil landscape was classified into five categories, thinne, based on the mood, the season and the land. Tolkapiyam, one of the oldest grammatical works in Tamil mentions that each of these Thanai had an associated deity such as Katravai mother goddess i.e. Kali and Sevail Marugan in Kurinji the hills, Tirumal Mayan in Mulai the forests, Vendan Wanji Ko or Sayan i.e. Indra in Marutham the plains i.e. Vayu and Kadaloan Varuna in the Neethal the coasts and the seas. Other ancient works refer to Mayan Mal and Vali. The most popular deity was Murugan, who has from a very early date been identified with Karthikeya, the son of Shiva. Kanagi, the heroine of the Salapadikaram, was worshipped as Patini Patini by many Tamilians, particularly in Sri Lanka. There were also many temples and devotees of Tirumal, Shiva, Gunapati, and the other common Hindu deities. <laughs> Calendar The ancient Tamil calendar was based on the sidereal year similar to the ancient Hindu solar calendar, except that months were from solar calculations, and originally there was number 60 year cycle as seen in Sanskrit calendar. The year was made up of 12 months and every two months constituted a season. 
With the popularity of Maze Vijavu, traditionally commencement of Tamil year was clubbed on April 14, deviating from the astronomical date of Vatavazi Vijavu. Festivals Pongal Pongal the festival of harvest and spring, thanking Lord L. the sun, comes on January 14-15 Taiwan. Peru Vandal Kadavija, the festival for wishing quick and easy passage of the midsummer months, on the day when the sun or L stands directly above the head at noon the start of Agni Nachatharam at the southern tip of ancient Tamil land. This day comes on April 14-15 Chitharai 1. Maze Vijavu, a.k.a. Indira Vija, the festival for want of rain, celebrated for one full month starting from the full moon in Otrai later named Sidurai, Sidurai and completed on the full moon in Puyazi Vikasi, which coincides with Buddhapurnima. It is epitomized in the epic Salapadikaram in detail. Puyazi Vaikasi Visagam and Taipusam, Taipuam the festivals of Tamil god Muruga's birth and accession to the Thiruparangkundram Kudal Academy, coming on the day before the full moons of Puyazi and Thai respectively. Sornavai Vija, the slaying of legendary Kadamba Asura King Surabadma, by Lord Muruga, comes on the sixth day after new moon in Itrai It is sung about in Tirumaruga Trupadai and Purananaru anthology. Vadai Vija or Vadavazi Vija, the festival of welcoming the Lord Surya back to home, as he turns northward, celebrated on December 21-22 winter solstice the sixth day of Panmis Margazi. It is sung about in Akinaru anthology. Semin Ezihuman Vijavu or Aruthra Darashanam, the occasion of Lord Shiva coming down from the Thiruchitrambalam Thiruchirampalam and taking a look at the Vigarai Thiru Atharai star in the early morning on the day before the full moon in Panmis. Athi Arai Min means the star of the god Shiva on the bull Nandi. Tiruonam or Onam, considered to be the birthday of Mayan, by the people of Pandya Kingdom and was celebrated for ten days. That was mentioned in Madurai one of the Pathupatu book, Thirupalandu by Periyajwar and from the song of Tirunyanasambandar in Thavaram. On this day, Keralites celebrate Onam as the state's harvest festival. Onam is observed for ten days, ending in Tiruvanam or Thirunam. Arts Musicians, stage artists, and performers entertained the kings, the nobility, the rich and the general population. Groups of performers included Thudian, players of the Thuda, a small percussion instrument Parayan, who beat Milam drums and performed Kudthu, a stage drama in dance form, as well as proclaiming the king's announcements Mujavan, who blew into a Mujavu, a wind instrument, with the army indicating the start and end of the day and battlefield victories. They also performed in Kudthu alongside other artists. Kadamban who beat a large bass-like drum, the Kadamparai, and blew a long bamboo, Kujal, the Suriyuthuthi similar to the present Nagasuram. Paanan, who sang songs in all pan tunes tunes that are specific for each landscape and were masters of the yaj, a stringed instrument with a wide frequency range, together with the poets Pulavar and the academic scholars Sandrur, these people of talent appeared to originate from all walks of life, irrespective of their native profession. <laughs> people The people were divided into five different clans, Kuds, based on their profession. They were Malars, the farmers. Malavars, the hill people who gather hill products, and the traders. Nagars, people in charge of border security, who guarded the city walls and distant fortresses. Kadambars, people who thrive in forests. Thirayars, the seafarers. Maravars, the warriors all the five Kuds constituted a typical settlement, which was called an Uru. Later each clan spread across the land, formed individual settlements of their own and concentrated into towns, cities, and countries. Thus the Malars settled in Tamil Nadu and Sri Lanka, while the Malavars came to live in Kerala, western Tamil Nadu, eastern Andhra Pradesh and southern Sri Lanka. The Nagars inhabited southern and eastern Tamil Nadu, and northern Sri Lanka, while the Kadambars settled in central Tamil Nadu first and later moved to western Karnataka. The Thirayars inhabited throughout the coastal regions. 
Later various subsects were formed based on more specific professions in each of the five landscapes Karinji, Mulai, Marudam, Nithal and Palai. Porupas the soldiers, Verpans the leaders of the tribe or weapon ISDS, Salambans the masters of martial arts or the arts of fighting, Kuravar the hunters and the gatherers, the people of foothills and Kanavars the people of the mountainous forests in Karinji. Kurumpurai Natan Kijathis the landlords of the small towns amidst the forests in the valleys, Thonral Manivi the ministers and other noble couples, Idayars the milkmaids and their families, Ayars the cattle rearers in Mulai. Malar or Palar the farmers, Maravars the warriors Vendans Shara, Chola and Pandya kings were called as Vendans, Urans small landlords, Majijnans successful small-scale farmers, Ujavars the farm workers, Kadayars the merchants in Marutham. Serppans the seafood vendors and traders, Palampans the vegetarians who thrive on coconut and palm products, Parathars or Paravas people who lived near the seas the rulers, sea warriors, merchants and the pirates, Nulayars the wealthy people who both do fishing and grow palm farms and Alavars the salt cultivators in Nithal. Palai symbolizes the dry arid lands and scorching deserts of Tamil country where nothing except for the hardy and war-like perseverant tribes native to those lands can survive. It is also the only land among all five lands of the Sangam landscape that a female god, fierce mother goddess, Kotravai was worshipped which is synonymous with the common belief that all the other lands of Tamil country emerged from these original dry arid lands. The tribes existed in these lands were the ruthless and fearsome Maravars noble warriors, hunters and bandits and Ayanars warriors and bandits. They actively seek out for wars, knowledge, invade far and distant lands and engage in banditry. People were known on the basis of their occupation they followed such as artisans, merchants etc. Warriors occupied a special position in society and memorial stones called Nadukan were raised in honor of those who died in fighting and they were worshipped. See also History of Tamil Nadu Tolkapiam Purananaru Paripadal <laughs>